read this script, I thought, and I don't think like this normally. This is made for me. Uh, well, I might think it's made for me, but I'm going to get this part. That's what's unique with this, this movie and, and me. But I said, I'm going to get this part. In fact, I had an offer to do another film, a flat out offer to be in Private Benjamin. And uh, that was very inviting too. But I said, this is, this is going to be through the roof with these three gals, the three of them, the chemistry. I mean, you can just look, you can just say their names. You don't have to see them do anything. You just use your little imagination. Dolly and Lily and Jane. And I said, I'm Debbie Corman, 95 star who made a career out of playing jacks has said he passed away at the age of 92. This is saddening and heartbreaking. Corman died Thursday at his home in Santa Monica. His daughter, singer Quancy Corman said, in a statement, she said, my father crafted his time here on earth with a curious mind a generous heart and a soul on fire with passion, desire, and humor that tickle the funny bone of humanity, she said. As he lived, he moved through at least final act of his life with elegance, excellence, and mystery. A teacher, a hero, and a king, Debbie Coleman is a gift and blessing in life and in death as his spirit will shine throughout his work, his loved ones, and his legacy eternally. The Austin, Texas born actor Devin Coleman and recognition for playing Mary Jeter in the Norman Lee production shop opera spoof, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman throughout its two season run in 1976 and in 1977. Following the actor's death, many have paid tribute. Actor Ben Stiller took social media platform X, formerly Twitter, to remember the character actor. He wrote, The great Debbie Coleman literally created or defined, really in a uniquely singular way, an archetype as a character actor. He was so good at what he did, it's hard to imagine movies and television of late 40 years without him. Twice divorced, Corman is survived by four children, Megan, Kelly, Lande, and Quancy. May he so rest in eternal peace, gone too soon, he will never be forgotten. His legacy will live on. We send our deepest condolences to his family and request you to give them prayers because they are feeling so sudden right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn on the notification bell for the latest news.